In our example, we're going to use an airport, again, of employees that are very, very different. We're going to have some that are going to be staff and some that are going to be pilots. We had uh, mechanics in there as well in the example. So they're going to have so many different aspects to their jobs. Pilots, pilots need licensing. Um, they have a workload. They can't work over eight hours, something of like that. And when they arrive, if they're even available, where staff, they have certain assignments, they'll have an office location. And I didn't even put mechanics in here, that they have their own certifications that they need to take care of. What are they working on? Work orders. There's so many things. So when we break this down, employee is going to be our super type. And then our, well, our ones at the bottom here are going to be our subtypes. Very similar to what we had in inheritance. Again, they're going to share everything that employee is going to have. So pick the things that you would anyway in inheritance. If this is programming, first name, last name, social security number. Um, I wouldn't go salary. Let's put it that way because they might be hourly. I don't know. So there's going to be some things that are going to be similar. I bet insurance and benefits will be the same. Yeah, maybe, but it depends. But as soon as we get into like if we're going to add another hourly employee, that's going to be different. I'm not going to be able to share that with everybody. So this is where this becomes an adjustment between as we start adding more and more individual elements or subtypes, it will make us have to make the super type be changed just a little bit, the overall design. That's the fun part about this type of design, how it's going to mimic onto your tables and database here in a bit.